Fact check. Did Hamas behead babies? Let's look at what we know so far about where this claim came from and why some media outlets and the White House have retracted the claim. On Saturday, October 7th, Hamas attacked the kibbutz of Kfar Aza. Members of the media were granted permission on October 10th, three days later, by the Israeli army to visit Kfar Aza and witness the aftermath of the Hamas attack. During the visit, a reporter from Israeli news outlet I-24 tweeted saying, Soldiers told me they believe 40 babies, children, were killed. As the day progressed, the information morphed from at least 40 babies were killed to some were beheaded. On the day, the Israeli army could not confirm beheadings. The very next day, in London, commuters were subjected to this horrifying and unverified headline. On October 11th, many Western media outlets jumped on that claim, quoting the spokesman of Israel's prime minister. The Israeli prime minister's spokesman just confirmed babies and toddlers were found with their heads decapitated in Kafar Aza. But many of those same media outlets were forced to walk back their reporting, issuing updates like this one. Israel cannot confirm the specific claim that babies were beheaded in Hamas attack. Later that day, during a press conference, American President Joe Biden claimed he had seen photographs of beheaded babies, saying, I never really thought that I would see and have confirmed pictures of terrorists beheading children. The White House later retracted the statement and published this correction. U.S. official and the president have not seen pictures nor confirmed such reports independently, but the damage had been done. Biden's initial claims were already featured on the front pages of many news outlets and continued to be cited in some quarters as justification for revenge attacks and the collective punishment of civilians in Gaza. Once these claims went viral, other journalists who were on the same visit to Kfar Aza on the 10th of October say, no one spoke to me about beheadings, let alone beheadings of children, let alone beheadings of 40 children. Another Israeli journalist said, during the tour, we didn't see any evidence of this, and the army spokesperson or commanders also didn't mention any such incidents. Sky News correspondent on the ground also confirms not being able to confirm these claims. We have not seen the evidence of that. We have asked uh, the Israeli Defense Forces, the IDF, three times to confirm those numbers. They have not yet. Later, the same journalist that broadcasted the claims of the spokesman of Israel's prime minister posted an apology saying, the Israeli government now says today it cannot confirm babies were beheaded. I needed to be more careful with my words and I am sorry. Hamas has denied claims that its fighters beheaded children, calling them lies. As details continue to emerge from the aftermath of the Kfar Aza attack, the line between facts and misinformation has blurred. Lies and half-truths have been disseminated by officials and mainstream media in what is becoming a propaganda war.